Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach. So we've got a really cool video for you today. So just how many general you know, circuits are you required to have in a home for lighting and receptacles? So this isn't talking about the required kitchen and laundry room and all that. We can learn about that in a different lesson. How many you know, circuits do you need in a home, whether 15 or 20, for a 3,500 square foot home for their general lighting and receptacles? And we're going to learn about it today, so stay tuned. So really excited about this video and what you would do is, is, you know, you may have been learning other load calculations and different things, but this one is actually pretty basic because uh, you don't have to apply any demand factors. But once you learn this formula, this is something you can teach your friends, teach your colleagues. It's just a really cool formula to figure out how many required circuits you're supposed to have. So what you'll do, we're going to pretend this is a house, okay? And uh, we're going to say that this house is 3,500 square feet okay and what we're going to do is we're going to take this 3500 okay and we're not going to apply any demand factors or to it or anything like that so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to multiply that 3500 by three so if you've learned in our other videos that there are three vas per square foot that's three watts per square foot for a residential dwelling unit home. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take those three VAs, so we're gonna take our square footage, so 3,500, we're gonna multiply that by three. Okay, that's gonna give us our first number. So that is going to be 10,500 VAs. Now, at this point, in a normal low calculation, you'd start applying some demand factors and different things, you know, once you've calculated a little bit further. But we're not going to do that in this case. What we're going to do is, is now we're going to take that number and we are going to divide it by the system voltage. So we're going to take 120. We're going to take that and we're going to divide 120. We're going to take this number and we're going to divide it by 120. That is going to give us 87.5. So 87.5. Okay. Now we're going to take this number here and we're going to divide it by whatever breaker that we're going to use. So if you're wanting to use 15 amp breakers and 14 gauge wire for your residence, what you'll do is, is you'll divide that by 15 amps. And in this home, you're going to be required to have 5.8 circuits. There is no such thing as a 0.8 circuit. On all of these, you always round up. I don't care if it's 5.1, you always round up. There's no such thing as 5.1 you know, of a circuit. So this is going to be six 15-amp circuits required in this home. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. Let's take our 10, 5, and divide it by 120. And that is going to equal 87.5. 20 amp branch circuits are going to be required. So we're going to take and we're just going to divide that by 20. And that house is only going to require 5. It's going to be 4.3. But that house is going to require 5 20 amp circuits if you decide to use 20 amp breakers. And that's all there is to it, guys. So what you're going to do is you are going to take your square feet. You're going to multiply it by 3. Okay, we're going to go ahead and play all this out again. We took our square foot. We have 3,500 square foot, not 35,000. We're going to do 3,500 square foot. We're going to multiply that by 3. Then we're going to divide that by the system voltage, the uh, one line side, the A phase or B phase, either one independently. Okay, that is going to give us 87.5. We're going to divide that by 15. That's going to give us... Six circuits if we're using 15 amp breakers. We're going to do the same math. We're going to take 3,500. We're going to multiply it by three VAs per. Then we're going to divide that by 120, the system voltage. And then we are going to divide that by 20. And that is going to give us five circuits required if you use a 20 amp breaker for the general lighting. Now that's not including your dishwasher, washing machine, and all that. This is just for your general lighting and receptacles. Now if you wire homes or you know have been around electrical, you'll find out that we end up putting seven, eight, nine different circuits in a home. They're way over circuited, but you can't have too many. I mean if we're being honest and the way people run things and like to plug everything into one area. You, you really can't have too many circuits, but the what you'd be required to have, and let me kind of show you guys some, some wild numbers here. So say you only had a 1,500 square foot home. You multiply that by three, divide that by 120, and then divide that by 20 amps. You're only going to be required to have two other general lighting circuits in this home besides the 
the you know the wa- the dryer and the washing machine and all these different things that are required in 210. It's kind of wild that you'd only be required. So if you took that same home and you did 1,500 square foot, multiplied it by three, divided that by uh, 15, you're only going to be required to have three 15 amp general lighting circuits in that home. Which you you know that we're going to put way more than that. But that's why. Um, now, as I say that, those circuits are still not allowed to tap any of the other areas because I was getting ready to make a comment saying, now we know why there's only a you know a few circuits in some older homes, but they'll be running the bathroom, the kitchen, and the lighting. And we know, you know, come on, we know that doesn't fly now. So just really excited about today's video. I love learning with you guys, and uh, I hope we can all grow together. Please like and subscribe to see more videos like these. And if there's anything that I can do to help you, um, we're helping people literally all over the United States, and the videos are in 13 different countries. I am just so happy to be a part of your journey. And I'm just so thankful uh, for the encouraging words. And also, uh, you know, lots of you guys are reaching out just for help or, you know, anything. I'm, I'm here to help. If there's anything I can do, I'm really here for you. So I just want to see you guys win. Um, one thing I know that you may not know if you've not got your license yet. So you may have your head down in your grind and working on getting your license. But when you get that license or that, you know, certification, one thing I know that you don't know yet is that it's going to change your life. It's absolutely going to change your legacy. It's going to change your um, your children, it, you know, the, their upbringing, what they get to do later in life. It's going to absolutely change your life. So I know when you got your head down and you're grinding, you, you don't see and feel the change. But I can see it from the outside, and I'm telling you, it's going to change your life. So I just get so excited for you guys. So I hope you guys take care. And like I said, if you need me, just holler at me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Thanks.